Oh, I got another question for you, JJ, while we're regarding Luca. I have an idea. So I was watching the game. This is game four that just happened. Minnesota's up six, right? Luca is bringing it in transition. And obviously, he hits, he hits the four point play. I don't, was it a foul? Okay, I don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna get involved in that. What do you, how do you feel about also fouling up six to keep it a two possession game? I was so, sitting here watching the game and I'm like, yes. if I'm up six and they make a three, it becomes a one possession game. But if I foul, while he's bringing the ball up and they go to the line, he makes two. It's still a two-possession game. Well, Joe Mazzulla did that in game one in overtime. I don't know if you caught it. I don't think I yes. caught it. Okay. So, and I want, I can't even, I think it was TJ McConnell. He, he fouled somebody. Oh, maybe, maybe it was Ty. Maybe it was Ty. But they're up six in OT. They're bringing well, the ball Joe Mazzulla the right guy's side. a fucking genius, and huh? Joe Mazzulla <laughs> fouled and sent them to the free throw line. No, that, I, it, it the, is a, the more and more I, I talk but, but to you, the way, the, it was the first the first time I'm like, yeah. oh, foul up six. I the like more and more I talk to you, the more and more I like this Joe guy, because <laughs> I'm starting to get some. Yeah, he. Yeah, you got to think yeah. outside the box a little. Bit. You absolutely, and I yeah, see yeah. why he sits over there, and he says absolutely nothing, and he's calm as fuck. He only yeah. gets he only gets a little like. When, when, like, he knows they're not playing the right way offensively. It's never defensively. It's never because of the, you know, the, the three-point attempts. It's never, ever, if a team makes a run. He's calm. It's only when they don't play the game the right way that he gets a little angry. But I, I, I must, I don't know how I missed that. Maybe I was just, like, they was up six, and I probably just stopped watching the game at that point. But I saw yeah. it. I was like, Luca's bringing the ball up, and I'm like, Get the ball out of his hands, or fuck, just fucking foul him. He's shooting seventy-five percent from the free throw line, anyways. He might miss one. The funny thing is, he made the three, but missed the free throw. So they was they they were yeah. still at one hundred three, one hundred. Last point I want to make on the blitz, and then and then we'll wrap. Is just um, Dallas. It's interesting against the blitz. We have talked a lot, and I, I think specifically about. When you blitz Steph Curry, mm -hmm. uh, or you blitz Jamal Murray versus Jokic, yep. and you get the ball to the middle of the floor, you've created the four on three, and you get the weak side corner cut for the lob. Mm -hmm. Dallas really doesn't do that a lot. What they want, they want the corner three. It's, they want the corner so three. Luca's blitzes are one of the ways they create corner threes. Yep. Corner threes are the, the, the best shot in basketball yep. uh, in terms of b behind the arc, right? So you can create spot corner threes. That's a good shot analytically. Mm -hmm. And how they do that when they get the ball to Lively, when they get the ball to Gafford in the middle, they don't cut against they that two-on-one. They do not. And so, you know, I'm just, if they, I don't know that they blitz, but the other point is what Luca does, and like Derek Jones Jr. got one, I think it was in game two from the right uh, corner. Luca against the drop, if you're in a shift against him out of the corner, he'll go up to shoot. Late yeah. pass. Late pass. Right? And, so, and, yeah. That, that, Dallas, da because this is going to be a math, there's going to be a math game to this. Yeah. Don't, don't tease me on this, please. <laughs> don't tease me on this. It's a real thing. Can Dallas create enough threes against Boston? That's going to be important. And one no, of the ways they yeah. create threes is against the Blitz yep. by getting the ball to the corner. Yep. And, and, and I think that's why Boston defends the way they defend to take away the three. Yeah. Um, and, and it's going to be interesting to see, like you said. it's going to be, And you would think that, you know, with Dallas' ability to have the athleticism of P.J. Washington and especially Derrick Jones, that they would get a little bit more corner cuts for lobs and dunks. You know, maybe not as lobs because, you know, you don't want Gafford or Lively throwing lobs, but they can make bounce passes and they can make some passes on time on target. But they want to create and generate threes. Um, that's what our league is about. So that, you know, that's a great point, J.J., in the fact that, that's what we're going to have to see. How will Dallas create enough three-point shots according to how Boston defends throughout the course of the season?